Hello everyone. I'm so excited. It's time for Paper Pumpkin this month. And this one is Joy to the World. I have not even opened it yet. I would love to open this with you guys on camera. If you are new to Stampin' Up! Um, Paper Pumpkin is a monthly kit um, that you receive in the mail. Everything is in here. The most you'll ever need is a pair of scissors. And with your first kit, you should get a paper pumpkin block, a, a clear block that says paper pumpkin on it. How much fun is that? Then my paper pumpkin team, um, if you join my paper pumpkin team, you will always get the two free card kits for that month. These are the two for this month. So this is what my girls will get this month. Um, but they also get my free card kits. So let's go ahead and open this up. I'm so excited. I've seen a few things. Uh, this is just jade. We get an ink spot or a marker or whatever it takes to make the project, right? Oh, look at that pretty wreath. Let's see. We have a wreath and a flower, joy. We have a Merry Christmas. And then, oh, look, joy to the world, to you and yours. Wishing you a very happy Christmas filled with fun and laughter. Very nice. I love this Merry Christmas right here. I'm real traditional with Christmas. I have to admit that. I like reds and greens and golds and um, real traditional things. So I love Merry Christmas. So let's see what's in here. Spread the joy. How nice. Get the translation of your sentiments with the key on the back of the flyer. Oh, okay. So here is English, French, and German. That's kind of cool, right? That's awesome. Fun. Okay, so let's see. It's always packaged in nice tissue paper. And um, like I say, I open this with you guys. I don't look at it first. So I'm looking at it just as much as you all are. Let me move this out of the way. And here's our kit. Let me get a pair of snips here. Let's open it up and see what we get. Look at that twine. We've got dimensionals. Everything is in here. Okay, it's a full kit, but the most you'll need is scissors. And I don't want to bend anything. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> that was tight. Okay, here we go. Let's open this up. And now on the outside of your box, it always comes with shrink wrap around around this part of the box. But I remove it because it has my personal information on it. So I remove it before I open it with you guys now. But that's a good way. Um, now the boxes are not damaged. So here's a full sheet of dimensionals. And like I said, we got our Just Jade. And now we have some, looks like um, cherry cobbler twine maybe. Oh, this is like a cable knit sweater type of card that is embossed so we have some of these let's see what have we got what's our envelopes pretty you know it ah oh, yeah that's great I, li I look forward to that so here we go with some nice envelopes are they all the same maybe they are I bet they are okay all the same inside but very very nice more tags and now here's the card bases Oh, how pretty. That's gold. Isn't that pretty? This is like a crumb cake in gold. Already scored, so we'll just be doing that. Okay. If you don't have a bone folder, you can always use the edge of your scissors. Okay. You can, oh, if you don't have a bone folder with you, you can always just use the edge of your scissor and burnish that down. No big deal, right? So that's why I always say that's all you need is a pair of scissors. So here are the directions, and um, looks like we get eight cards and envelopes this month. Very, very pretty. Oh, this is fun. Just fun. Now, all the directions are in here. We even have a ruler down here to measure our twine off, and I'm seeing some other things here. Let me see. Where's mine? Ah, look here. Ooh, how pretty. Here we go. There's a wreath right there. And now we've got flowers here. And oh, these are gold. How pretty. Look at that. There's joy. Oh, here are the words. These words are in, um, some of them are in the other language. And that's why they gave us this. Isn't that cool? 
that is awesome. So we have some nice gold foils here and some glue dots. Okay, I'll be back in just a moment and we are going to put one of these cards together. Nice Christmas kit. I'm excited about this kit. Back in a minute. Okay, here we are with our first card. I'm so excited about this kit and it came out just beautifully. I just absolutely love it. These kits are wonderful and fantastic. Now, I always finish the inside of mine. The dimensions on these are a little bit different and I had already cut the inside of it and was ready to glue it down and then um, I realized that I needed to measure it. So the outside of this card, this is like six inches here. Okay, this part is six inches. Um, I've adjusted my camera a little bit, so I hope it's a little easier. I hope it's better for everybody. It looks better on my end. Um, okay, so with this card though, we will use, I recut, and I didn't put the um, crumb cake behind it. I just wanted the Just Jade. So the Just Jade for the inside is five and three quarter by four, Whisper White five and a half by three and three quarter. It makes a really, really nice insert for this card. And I really like the different, um, you know, it's just not a standard A2 card. So that's great. It's something a little different. Now this one I did Joy to the World. And this one we're going to do, because um, you get to do four of each. We're going to do Sending Peace. So I love that, right? Okay, let's move this out of the way. We're going to use Just Jade and Cherry Cobbler. Let me open these up so that... I have my um, cardboard here from the kit. It acts like a pad when you stamp with these photopolymers. Like, usually I use that thicker foam mat. So, um, okay, so let's go ahead and pop out the piece here so we can get this um, beautiful gold out of here, right? And these come, this is so pretty, isn't that pretty? Let me hold that up for you. And these come um, even in the other language. I was just kind of amazed and they gave us a little sheet here to show us. So French and German and there is the translation of it. So that's a lot of fun just in case you wanted to do something a little different. All right, um, let's see. Now, let's go ahead and um, let's move this out of the way and get a little banner here. And we're going to stamp sending in Just Jade. Now, I have a big Just Jade. I'm not gonna open up my spot. So I'm just gonna stamp sending right here in the center. Right there. Oh, that's cute. Okay. <clears throat> now let's go ahead and put that up here. And um, let's go ahead and work on our little cable knit piece here. It looks like almost like a cable knit sweater. Um, and this is the longer one that we want for this card because it opens like this. Okay. So that it's the longer one. Now, the, this in the inside, I do that myself. That does not come in the kit. I, have to, I always have to say that. Now, it tells us in the directions that we need 18 inches of this um, thread that they sent us. So I'm going to use my ruler down here. Oh, I really like where my camera's at now. And it's nine inches, so we need two. And remember I said that we would just need to use a scissor, right? And Stampin' Up! has the best snips. Okay, so now from here, what we're gonna do is just leave like a tail and just wrap this around a couple of times. That's all. Give us enough. I might have given me too much of a tail right there, right? So just wrap it around and then we're gonna tie a bow, make sure that we have enough. Let me bring that over just a little bit more. You can fool with it as you're you know, tying it, that should be good right there now, right? Good. And then I just like to kind of put it underneath there and make a knot right out here. Make sure I've got this tight enough for us. 
Although we can always cheat on the back when we, <laughs> when we glue, right? Okay, so right there. And I'm just gonna tie a bow. That really came together nicely. Oh, nope, we need the knot. I need the knot. I might could have used another inch or two of length on this, I have to admit. My first one came out pretty good. Maybe it's just my fingers, right? Oh, I think we're good here. Yeah, I just needed that knot. Here we go. Now I'm just going to make this a smaller little bow. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I'm just going to leave that just like that with that. <clears throat> those being a little bit longer too. I like that. Okay, so that's nice. Now I'm going to separate these the best that we can. Okay, great. Now, um, let me move this out of the way. And um, I'm going to bring this piece in, and this comes in the kit. Now we're going to punch these out for the next card. Okay, I suggest leaving this wreath on here to stamp with. So I'm going to punch these two out already, so just so that I don't get ink on them, just in case. And it just gives you um, a better, like, I don't know, I have more surface. It makes me feel more confident. So I'm going to take my, my wreath, my bows here, in Just Jade. Oh, such a pretty color, right? And I'm going to come right over the top here and just stamp it wherever you put it it's fine because the berries are going to fall into place isn't that pretty isn't that beautiful i mean i i i don't know if there's a certain way to get this but i just stamped it and i got a really good result both times now so i'm very very happy with it i don't really I don't know if there's a special way to do it, but I think we got a nice looking wreath there, right? Good. Okay. <clears throat> now, we want to put dimensionals on here, and these dimensionals, of course, come in your kit, and I love them from Paper Pumpkin because they're spongy. So I put three, just like in a triangle there. And now, we are going to um, add it to our piece right here that we made. Okay, just like this. Oh, look, and I love that my bow is going to be seen. Oh, that's so pretty. And the dimensionals help hold down our twine also. So that's cute. Now I'm going to put um, my little sending. I don't want to cover up my bow. See, if you look here on the directions, they've got it kind of covering up the bow. Well, here the sending is on top on the piece, but some of these are covering up, and I definitely don't want to cover it up. And I really like it on the top here this time, just like that. I'm going to let it hang over so that when I do my card, it's gonna, mine's going to hang over on the card a little bit. So let me get some glue dots. And, you know, something like this, you could be, like, wherever you want to put it, wherever is fine. Wherever you like it. I like to try to, when I put it together at first, I like to try to follow the directions the best I can. So I want that to just hang over just a tad, just like that. Nice. Very, very good. Okay, now we're going to get the piece. And we're going to put that down here. Oh, that's so pretty. So, like, just look at where it's going to junction with your wreath. So, at the junction of the E, the lower part of the A, and the junction of the E, the other E. So, let's just do that. So, let's see. We said the junction right there of the E, the lower part of the A, and then down here. Let's do the P, okay? Okay. Well, it, does the P hang off? I'm not sure. Wait a minute. I said the lower part of the E, so there must have been a reason, right? Don't go against myself. We're going to put it right here at the junction of the E. Okay. I might need to get another one. Right there. Okay, we're good. So let's take these little backs off. And 
now we're going to add this to our card. Oh, it's so pretty. I love the gold. Whenever you add gold, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Just oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. I love it. I love it. Okay, good. Now, let's get our card base. Now, if you don't have a bone folder, this already comes creased if you're new to Paper Pumpkin. If you don't have a bone folder, use the edge of your scissor and it will burnish that down just as well. Okay, right there. Look how pretty, look at that. Woo! I love it. I love the way I hung that off of there. Okay, let's go ahead and use some dimensionals. Oh, I love it. Cute. Now, I'm going to pick this slack up a little bit right there. I'm going to just see how I did that. I just cheated on the back just a little bit. I pushed my thread up and let my dimensional hold it. And see, that will pick up any of my slack that's over here on this, on this side. You know, that you can see if it looks a little... Um, it really didn't look that way. But that is a way that you can pick up slack like that. Just push it up and stick a dimensional and you're good to go. Let's get these backs off. <clears throat> and then we're going to work on the inside of the card. I always like to decorate the inside of my cards. So this we're going to put on straight, just like that. And I'm contemplating a dimensional over here on this edge for that sending. I think we'll do that. So you could always just cut a piece off from down here. Okay. I think we will definitely do that. Put that there. Just to give this a little bit of security. I'll put it on the sending. Just there. Oh, love it. Okay, now that's not going to go anywhere. That looks so pretty. Okay, now let's go ahead and stamp the inside of our card with our beautiful saying. It has a gorgeous saying. And let's go over these dimensions again. I'm not going to use the crumb cake this time. So this piece is just jade at five and three quarter by four. And this is regular whisper white at five and a half by three and three quarter. So we'll go ahead and stamp on this with this gorgeous saying, wishing you a very happy Christmas filled with fun and laughter. Okay, we're going to attempt to get that in the center. All right, and look at how nice that cardboard works for us. Now, because I'm not going to stay away from this wreath, I am not going to stay away from this. I'm going to go ahead and ink this up and give me a little corner wreath, part of a wreath right there, and then the other part up here. Pretty, pretty. And now, we'll go ahead and add our berries. And it doesn't matter where you put these berries. I'm really happy with where my, I hope my camera angle is good for you guys because I am really happy with it. So here we go there. Just some cherry cobbler berries around this wreath. Oh, I love it. Okay. Let's go ahead now and move all this out of the way and Put this down on our Just Jade. Look at how nice that looks. Now in the stamp set, there's this beautiful flower right here. It almost looks to me like I could do some um, DSP, like a whole sheet and color it in. I think that would be a lot of fun. You know I always do alternative paper pumpkin projects. So that could be something that we do, right? Oh, I did have another set cut, but I'm not going to use that. Okay. Sending piece right here and here. Oh, I like that a lot better. I really do. My eye goes to that a lot better. So, it's not that the other one is wrong, it's just that my eye likes this a lot better. So pretty. Just like that. Let's go ahead and get an envelope in. And um, these envelopes are beautiful, they're lined. 
I just ordered that set that has the envelope linings in it. So I'll be working with that as soon as I get it in. I'm going to stamp my wreath here. Oh, I missed a little bit. That's what happened on that other envelope and I stamped it again and I just did not line it up well. What do you guys think? Okay, not too bad for going back over it and being behind the camera. Okay, let's try to get this good. Perfect. All right, now let's go ahead and add our berries. I just love paper pumpkin because I don't have to design it. It just does it for me and I just have fun doing the projects. Oh, did you see on the back here? I forgot to show you this. Um, on the back of this flyer that you get in your paper pumpkin, especially if you're new to my, and I have a couple of new paper pumpkin people that just joined, but on the back, look back here, <clears throat> it shows you what's included in your kit, what are the coordinating colors so that when you make, you know, or add color or something or make a, an alternative project, you'll know what to use. And then here are some alternative ideas. So this is already too cute right here. That is already too cute. Oh, and I ordered the, um, while we're on here just chatting and I'm stamping, um, I did order the mini paper pumpkin boxes because I saw a video that our note cards with envelopes fit in those paper pumpkin boxes, just the little mini ones. I can't wait to get those in. So that's in that order also. I'm excited about that. So here's our first set of beautiful cards, absolutely gorgeous cards. These are two. I'll make two more. I'll come back and we'll put the, the next one together, okay? How nice, our paper pumpkin is really coming together. Nice that we have some good Christmas cards going on here. Back in a minute. Okay, let's go ahead and make this beautiful card. Here's what I did with this one. And then the inside, I had to use those flowers and color them. So pretty, right? They just mimic these out here. They're very, very nice. Um, so, and then I also did the envelope, which came out really well. I want to give you a little tip because of the blends bleeding through. On this first envelope, I totally forgot to put in a, a, like a little piece of paper. See if you put this in here and then you color, then you get Let's see, I already did this one. This, with no bleed through on the back, okay? So just a little tip there, just put a little piece of Whisper White in there and it won't allow that to happen. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, start with our card base. We're gonna fold it and we're going to, I'll just use these scissors like I did with the other one to burnish it down, just like that. And this one we're going to use in this orientation like this, okay? And let's see, let's go ahead and um, do the outside of the card. First what we're going to do is get our piece right here of gold. We want this banner right here. Okay, let's move that aside. And I'll move this back. I'm making a pile of all my leftover things. So we can keep, I can keep going and finish. Now here's my, this is the thicker one and these are all stitched. Isn't that cute? And we're gonna stamp Merry Christmas on there. And we're going to use these flowers that we punched out, remember from the last one? So we'll use these two. Of course they give you enough to do everything with. Um, and let's go ahead and do a little stamping. Let's do Merry Christmas right here. Let me bring in my cardboard again right there and let me get my Merry Christmas stamp right here into the Just Jade and we'll get that on there as straight as we can nice very pretty okay beautiful now I'm gonna put this on here on our gold piece with some of the um, glue dots. 
use my pokey tool here. So let's see, that would go on there. So I'm just going to do two. Don't need a whole lot. And not all the way to the edge because you want to make sure that you pick up your little gold piece there, right? So here we go here. And now this element is ready to go. Just like that. Okay, now what we want to do is move in our um, that piece of corrugated. I keep moving things around and losing them, right? Let me get one. And on this one, we're going to use the square one, okay? And it's got like that cable knit sweater. So it just, it doesn't matter how. I want mine going across. I like them like that. Now with this, again, we're going to use 18 inches of our um, twine here. So we'll go ahead and measure that out and get it cut right here. So there and then there. Good. And there's more than enough, okay, to finish our cards for sure. Now with this one, the directions had like four fingers and then just like spread them out and loop this. You want like two big loops, okay? Two large loops like this and just leave the tails. In fact, it looks really great if the tails are showing. So, and then you just want to, let me see, get that out like that. And then you just want to put this down here. Make sure that this goes like all around this square. You might even push it out just a little bit. But then you just want to take a glue dot. This is so simple. Just going to take a glue dot and just secure this right here down. And it doesn't need to be perfect or anything like that. It just secures it so that then you can work with the rest of it. I saw this on the video. I thought it was kind of ingenious. So we still have a lot of curling going on here. I'm going to push that down into that paper. Good. So I'm just, I am just going to, I found it best to take another glue dot and secure it in this other area right here. It just really seriously, when I put the embellishment on top of it, it really did help to have them both secured down. There we go. And I'm just going to push that, okay? So, whoop. <laughs> Don't pull them. They're just really barely, barely adhered to the paper there. I might need another one on that other side, right? Let me stick a glue dot right here and put it where I want it, right? So we have it all together. And now I'm just going to stick that in there. Perfect. Okay, good. And now I've got a lot of rope, okay, or a lot of twine. Okay, now let's move this aside. And um, that element that we just made, and like I said, I keep just, it's right in front of me. I just keep losing it. We are going to place our flowers. Now, up here, and then down here. And this banner is going to go in the center, but you have to kind of do this on the card, on the card base. Because, let me move this, we don't need that, okay. Because you, won't, you can't have your flowers hanging off. Okay, so you want to kind of position them on your card base because they're going to go over top of or on your little white piece that we just made. These can overlap and then this can go right here. Oh, I love that. Okay, so I'm just going to take some glue dots and I'm just going to put a couple on here. That's it, just a couple. And I'm just going to hold this where I want it. Remember, I'm not coming off of my card base. And I'm going to take this and I'm just going to stick it right there. And w that's perfect. Now this will go on here. Let's go ahead and add glue dots. Let's see, wait a minute. These need to come toward the center. Oh. 
like in here. Okay, and right here. Good. Okay, now when you flip this over, I just hold my card down, and now I'm going to position this over these flowers and let that pick it up, and that gives you the whole embellishment. Isn't that fantastic? Now you can pop this up with dimensionals. That is just so great, right? So, or you could put it down with glue dots. Let's see. The last one I popped up with dimensionals, and honest, I really think I want this down with glue dots. I think that it would it would be um, more secure with the glue dots. So I'm just going to place a few strategically in the middle kind of thing here. Just like that. And let's just do one more, just to be sure, okay? And now I'm just going to flip it over. Let me get my card base out of there. We have enough to struggle with, right? That's really not struggling, you just have to manipulate it. Now I just hold this out with my fingers. That's it. And then I just place this right on top there. And that is awesome, isn't that great? Look at that, and that just has to peek out from inside and that makes a wonderful embellishment just like that. Oh, I just love it. Now, let's go ahead and place our dimensionals. Awesome. That came out really well. I was a little worried about showing you guys how to put that together, but just one step at a time using your glue dots. I think that came out fantastic with the glue dots and then pop it up with dimensionals right here. And like you could put it to the side if you want to. Let's go to the side on this one. Isn't that beautiful? That is gorgeous. This one I did in the middle. And then the other and another one I could do on the other side. You can even, you know, twist it a little bit. That is cute. Let's go ahead and do the center or insides like I do. Now, remember, this does not come with your kit. This is what I do. Okay, I stamp these in Tuxedo Memento Black Ink. And I was, I'm just going to color one on camera with you guys. We're going to choose joy to the world, right? Is that what we're going to put? Yes, joy to the world. So my joy goes in um, just jade right here. This is a pretty joy. Oh, I love it. Love it. And then, it, now, you can either choose, you choose any color you want. I'm going to do just jade again, um, but you could put to the world in um, cherry cobbler. Just like that. Ah, oh, cute. Let's see, how did I do this one? This one I went underneath. So that's pretty, and this one what I did was I stamped the joy first and then I decided about the flowers, but this one's kind of a little bit more balanced. So I just wanted to color one with you. I'm going to take my Just Jade and there is no shading with this because Stampin' Up! just put those nice dark black lines in there for us and it really makes the flower look fantastic. So here I'm going to color the leaves right here with Just Jade. So pretty. That's light just jade. This is light cherry cobbler. And we'll give it a little bud here of its flower. And then just some berries. Now watch, when I do these berries, I don't move my tip. I dot it. It's so small that the alcohol just bleeds right out. Okay, now up in here, I'm just gonna go ahead and color every single one of these. And it's real fast because we're not shading anything. Yeah, I just go one petal at a time. Make it look so pretty. A nice pretty Christmas flower. Like I say, I hope the angle to my camera is, um, is really helping. I know it's helping me, so I'm going to keep it at this angle. I raised it up and angled it a little bit and it's really 
I can see really well what I'm doing now through the camera. But right now I'm not looking through the camera to color, I'm looking at the project. Here we go. Oh, cute, right? That's so fast. Then Dark Daffodil Delight for the inside. Just adding a little bit of yellow color to it with that black. I didn't want to use the brown. Like here is, um, is brown, okay? But it has white dots. So I, if I use brown with the black, with the Tuxedo Memento black ink, that would have really looked bad. So that's why I did that. Now, let's go ahead and put this right here. And again, those measurements, this um, Just Jade is five and three quarter by four. Whisper White, five and a half by three and three quarter. Just a little different measurement. Oh, I'm gonna have fun in the craft room finishing. I don't have it finished. I wanted to get it on tape for you guys. So usually I do the cards in between and then I have the whole kit finished, but I just did the two. And then this afternoon I'm going to finish them. And I called the nursing home and they are more than happy to take my cards for their residence. And um, so I'm going to be donating them. And I definitely want to finish this because I want to uh, donate some of these to them also. Look at how pretty this is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So here we go. And this just came out gorgeous. Look at that flower with that card. Oh, and here's the other card. Let's see. Where's the other envelope? I keep telling you. Oh, here it is. Keep missing stuff today in here. <laughs> Here we go, here's the two of them. Oh my goodness, that is just beautiful. And then we've put these together. This is a beautiful Christmas kit. I hope that you've enjoyed your paper pumpkin um, this month. And if you're not signed up with Paper Pumpkin, I would love for you to. There's a little show more button right here on YouTube. And when you click that, it, it will drop down everything that you can click to be able to join my team or join Paper Pumpkin or shop my online store. Um, I really try to make it quite easy for you all to just, you know, click a link. So if you'd like to join Paper Pumpkin, please join by the 10th of the month and you'll get the kit for next month. But this one is so much fun. I hope everybody enjoyed this, everybody that signed up for this month. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Very easy. Look at how nice that came out. And I really like that I off-centered it. So, you know, play with it. And remember, the inside is my design. I don't, that doesn't come with the kit. Okay, there we go for this month. Please enjoy your paper pumpkin. And thank you so much for watching and do some happy crafting.